I'm getting better and better at this. Hello everyone, my name is Maggie and this is Asia Modified. Today we're going to be making Sean's Red Evil from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. In the movie, the car has an evil 8 body kit on it. Just like this Fast and Furious die cast from Greenlight. Sean's 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9. The box says see the movie, so go see the movie. Even though you probably have seen it 10 times already. Greenlight Collectibles. This is the best die cast I have seen so far for this particular car. This is my childhood right here. <laughs> All I can find is a car with an evil night body kit. So it's not gonna be exact. Here's what we have so far. The main body, front bumper, rear bumper, extra hood, extra front bumper, light buckets, spoiler, a wide body kit, some stickers, more stickers, and some instructions. I'll be using the OEM hood and front bumper, so I won't be using these ones. Kitty break so soon. We have stickers from Screen Print Digital. It's gonna be sitting on an M Drift 2 chassis. That means it's gonna need a transmitter and receiver, a 55T motor, and an ESC. Some wheels and drift tires. Engine style. For the body, we have LED lights, seat belts, a spoiler, and an exhaust. The body will be Tamiya Raid PS2, followed by white PS1, and then cover up with black PS5. I'm still missing a bunch of things right now that will be showing up throughout the video. We're gonna start with the M Drift 2 chassis. You're gonna help me assemble the chassis, right? Here. Fire! I got some grease in here. It's easier to apply this way. I just pull off the needle. I found M4 nuts, the smaller ones will look a lot better on the wheels. I added aluminum tape here just so that it protects the plastic from the heat. So I made some new parts to put the motor in the front. I got this front floor that will be an adapter for the motor. Got double sided tape in the front here and it will sit right here. Got two M2 by 20. A new main floor. I'll be using this 170 millimeter drive shaft. And this is the front motor setup. I also made a drive shaft cover using 4 M2 by 8 to tighten it down. In this build, I will go extra mile with wiring and stuff. I'm planning everything out right now. I'm gonna try to see where I should put this engine sound. The body is actually pretty big, so there's a lot of room for everything. 2S 7.4 volt battery. Notice I have this light bulb back. It's for safety reason. To add an extra protection metal case. Put your battery in it for storage. I actually need the battery. <laughs> I have an ESC programmer and I'm gonna program it a little bit. I'm changing the start mode to strong and max brake force to 100%. As always, I'm adding a switch to act as a clutch. Usually if I have long wires like this, I would cut here, cut here, get rid of the middle part and then connect the rest of the wires together by soldering and stuff like that. 
This time I'm doing it differently. I'm gonna be clamping new terminals on the wires. Okay, let's test it out. Steering. <laughs> it works. You can find all these tools from Dark Dragon Wing Amazon page. The servos that I'm using are pretty good. They don't usually go bad. So I'm not really worried about replacing them. I'm combining these into one plug. I'm getting better and better at this. adding a dual switch for the LED lights on the body turning on and off positive and negative wires be using channel 4 to control the servo moving on to the body I'm using number 16 blade to cut around it before I break it off it has less sharp area than number 11 all I need is just the tip this one is extra nice because I can unscrew it from the back here taking my time studying the instruction so I don't mess it up. I'm gonna make the front bumper look a little bit like an Evo 8. I find that it's easier to cut if you push this blade down a little bit. So the tip is right in the middle. Feels a little flimsy. <laughs> doing everything correctly yeah the front bumper is pretty much done yes after all these years I still make mistakes there are two problems one I cut it a little bit too much and two I changed my mind I don't want to use the screws on this one the screws may work with the Liberty walk bodies and stuff like that but not this one this one I think it's best to use double-sided tape this 3m 5925 double-sided tape in particular it's about 0.5 millimeter thick it sticks really well if you have a better tape that is thinner let me know in the comment a new body is on the way I'll be working on other things for now I trimmed out the screw head a little bit for the countersunk magnet the new body is here I'll go ahead and do the same things but without using the screws I guess my one suggestion about cutting don't trim off the front side to make it fit try to trim off a little bit from the back side to make it fit and focus on this line right here This light is very useful. The light will shine through the legs and body and you will see the lines a lot better. You can move it around and find the best location. I'm drilling holes for the LED lights right now. To get nice lines like this, cut around this thing and now cut to the edges. The more you cut, the easier it is to break them off. Got my 400 grit sandpaper here just to make it slightly smoother. And this is one nice cut leg sand light bucket. One of the headlights is not that good. So I got to the canard section. These are meant to fit the Voltec front bumper. They don't quite fit the OEM, but I'm gonna trim them to fit. Okay guys, I did my best. You'll see the final result soon enough. It's gonna look pretty ridiculous, just like a Tom Attack car. Bruh, I'm out. For a small opening like this, it's super hard to cut off. I drew some holes and then just trying to get the knife to trim it off a little bit by a little bit. And that's the only way I know right now. 
It took a while, but I got it cut. Three more to go. <laughs> there is no other way. There's no shortcut to this thing. I got the rear diffuser done. It took a while, but I got it done. Now I'm gonna cut the hood off. First line done. I'm really taking my time. We need pre-cut Lexan bodies. <laughs> it would be so much easier. I got the inside cut. I go over them a few times, just in case. Now it's time to break the hood off. That's so scary! <laughs> because if you do it too hard, it will just rip beyond where you cut. taking a long time because I want to make it perfect as much as possible. I don't know if it can go faster than this. I think we're ready for some paint. Actually, I need the masking tape first. Can't forget rapid tack. Always apply it before you put on any sticker. Next, the more you spray, the easier it gets. I didn't like the big round corner of the head like so I added some masking tape. I'm gonna hit it with some paint. You can see the red paint bleed through the masking tape a little bit. While I was painting the hood, I went ahead and paint other parts. Now we have everything painted, except the light buckets. We'll work on them later. The best part of the belt, remove the thin plastic. That was satisfying. That is insane. Use polycarbonate body cleaner to clean off some overspray. I got the edges cleaned up pretty good. Now it's time for me to assemble the body. I'll be using 5925 3M double-sided tape. I think I have to trim this one off. It's time for the diffuser. Trying to go faster, but still a lot to do. Before I put the front bumper on, I'm gonna put the stickers. I already did cut around stuff and put one on. Found out it's not that good, as you can see. So I'm gonna use this 0.5 millimeter line tape to go around the headlight instead. A lot of stuff here. Months, I tell you, months. The tape has some residue, so use Goo Gone to kind of softly wipe it off. I have a heat gun with 100 Celsius going for me here. And I try to keep it far away from the body because I don't want to melt the body. 
The hardest thing is it's clear and you can see all the bubbles or the liquid that is not squeezed out completely. Gotta start from one side and work your way all the way to the other side. Make sure there's nothing behind the place where you just squeezed. One of the problems of these leg sand bodies is the stickers will slowly peeling off around the edges of the window because the trims here pop out. Mask it. Paint it. For the front windshield, I cut the tin off and just use the trims. It's pretty challenging doing the masking. I find that it's best to use one millimeter masking tape for the radius corners and stuff. For the windows, you can tape around the edge. Make sure you use a brand new blade so that it's sharp and you don't have to put any pressure to cut the masking tape. Wow, that's a lot of masking. I'm hitting it with Tamiya PS5 Black. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take the masking off real quick. If you look closely at the movie car, the rear windows should be thin a little bit. One light coat of PS31. Shake the can really, really well and only spray one wet coat. I just went ahead and finished all the stickers that I need from this sheet. I mean, these two sheets. Because it takes two sets of bodies to finish an RC Modify video. Apparently, it's time for these ones. These ones are pre-cut. <laughs> oh man, I've been focusing trying to cut these stickers so much it hurt my brain. Hopefully it doesn't take me two days. <laughs> because it did with the other ones. I'm not even kidding. to check out my sticker look at that oh you don't care actually need two of them. The stickers are missing for the trunk. You can get more from another sheet. Also, there is no sticker for the hood. I got some vinyls that I bought separately. I'm gonna use the logo to use as a template and cut the logo out of these sheets. I have a vinyl cutting machine. I'm gonna test cut something just to show you guys. Maybe I should mention I got silver for the hood and then black for the rest of the things I needed. I finally got the hood vinyl cut. Some details are just too small, so I chose to ignore them. I also add the line for the little letters so that they stick together. I think the hood looks pretty cool. The wheel is multiple pieces. The offset of the wheel is adjustable. Placing this piece in front or the back will adjust the offset of the wheel. I'm gonna paint the wheels with PS23 gunmetal. After that, I'm gonna top it off with clear coat. I'm 
All right, we got the body and all the stickers done. We even got the wheels painted. I'll put the tires on right now too. I have the foam tape, three millimeter thick. The front wheels are pretty much perfect. The back wheels will need to come out a little bit more. The calipers are very close to the wheel. <laughs> it's insane. I'm using a little bit of thread lock blue to lock the wheel nut. You have to be careful with the thread locker. Don't let it touch any paint because it will ruin the paint. We have a bunch of parts designed and printed. Engine bay, stress bar, hinges, hood support, dash, front splitter and intercooler, roll cage, racing seats, side mirrors, an antenna, shifter, and handbrake. We also have front splitter links. I used M1.2 by 4 to assemble the link parts. Basically just cut the rod to length and glue it using super glue. I got the hinges on this thing. I'm gonna tape everything down using double-sided tape. Four pieces of double-sided tape on each side will make it fit pretty good. It's time for the contour wire mesh. I cut two little pieces out of this foam tape and put just right above the hinges to make the hood pop up easier. I'm also using double sided tape to tape the hinges to the hood. I put tape on the side here at the edge to tape down the stickers so that the hood doesn't lift up the sticker. I also have tape in the middle so that the hood doesn't go past where it should be. Otherwise it will be hard to open the hood. I'm at the link part and if you find that the little screw is too long, you can cut it off. I'm using the fiberglass Teflon tape to tape down the mesh and hopefully it will stay and not slowly peeling off. Front splitter and intercooler. I have some 3D printed wipers. For the roll cage, I have a red adhesive foam sheet, 2 millimeter thick. I'm gonna cut to side and wrap around the roll cage. I use some super glue too because this adhesive is not good enough. It will come off eventually. I cut a thin piece of this tape to tape around the foam to look like zip ties. Finally, <laughs> it looks pretty good. Gotta mount it in there. Maybe I put this on top of that so that it acts as a cushion against the paint. And then I'll tape it down using Teflon fiberglass tape. This tape is pretty good so far. I got the dash and roll cage in there. I got the front splitter on there with the links. It looks pretty cool. It's time for the canards. <laughs> it's time for the spoiler. I bought this set just so that I can use the brackets. I got this spoiler from other kit. And I'm gonna cut this thing off a little bit too.
Okay. Now it's time for the light buckets. I have these three millimeter mount for the LED light. I'm gonna try my best to drill a hole to fit this one because the plastic there, as you can see, is super thin. I'm gonna use the rectangular LED for the turn signal. I'm gonna take off the tail light stickers and paint the light buckets instead. I'm gonna paint this using spastic chrome and then back it up with ultimate black. Now that is proof that it will come off. So when you wanna tape it, make sure it's final. If you try to peel off the tape, the chrome will come off too. I'm using the permanent marker to color the light bucket. The light buckets are done. It's been at least a week. The fiberglass Teflon tape is not peeling off. Wow, it's good. I just used the Teflon fiberglass tape to tape the light buckets. I tape up the top of the light bucket to cover up the hole there. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. I also put some magnets to keep the hood down. Time to wire up the LED lights. The links in the front are too close to each other, so I'm gonna spread them out a little bit. The LED lights are all wired up. I put the switch on channel 4. It's not going anywhere unless you release the clutch. Side mirrors are next. Time for exhaust muffler. 3D printed exhaust mount. My idea is to heat this up and then bend it. Let it cool down and you will have a perfect mount. Drew the hole on the exhaust and then use M2 by 8 to mount it. I basically just bent the whole thing and mold it to the place I'm gonna tape it on. It's just perfectly positioned. From now on, this is how I'm gonna mount the exhaust muffler. The seats. What I have here are red seat belts. In the movie, they are green. This green. This is a quarter inch green ribbon. This one is a five point harness. I'm gonna take out one to make it four point harness, just like in the movie. Okay, I got them assembled. I also cut some pieces of the Kata logo. Basically transfer the logo to the belt and then use thin double-sided tape to tape it on the harness. And of course, the little letters can't really be cut. We'll just have to settle with this. I got the seats, the shifter, the handbrake, in position. Next, 
the steering wheel. <laughs> Maybe I should make the mount bendable, just like the exhaust muffler mount. My mind is blown right now. <laughs> I'm gonna make a simpler version of the steering wheel. Just directly connect the steering wheel onto the servo so that it's a lot smaller. I got the parts printed right there. Here's how much it turns. This one will make the servo turn 50% more. It doesn't turn to the correct direction, so I'm gonna reverse it with the servo reverser. That is the new steering wheel setup using four M2 by 8 screws. Heat it up, bend it, let it cool. This thing cools it down pretty quickly. I made a pedal box that is a floor mount version and a top mount version. There's not enough room for the floor mount version, so I'm using the top mount version, just taping it right on the steering servo. The pedal box uses M1.2 by 4 screws and 1 millimeter shaft. And the final piece is the sound, so I'll put it on real quick. The engine sound is installed. I improve a few parts here and there, and I shrink down the seats a little bit. have it a red evil 9 fast and furious style if you want my advice don't make the hood open don't make the doors open just keep it simple nice body maybe cut the windows and that's about it it will be a lot more enjoyable that way i hope you enjoy it and find this helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you again next time